Hey guys, I'm Bryson here, and which one is better for beginners when it comes to you getting started actually reading? Is it going to be, for example, Audible, which I use every single day? Is it going to use, for example, your iPad? Or, for example, is it just going to be the old-fashioned books with the whole pages? And by the way, you don't swipe up here or anything like that. You have to, like, turn the pages all the time, okay? And by the way, if you want to buy a book or an iPad or get Audible, link them below, and you also get, like, five bucks, and also with the iPad, Pad. All that stuff is linked down below. Okay, guys, go over there. However, though, the main thing is this. If you want to learn how to read, my biggest thing is going to be when you first start, you have to start by reading things you're actually interested in. Why? Because usually it is going to be very boring unless you're really into reading. However, I was not into reading whatsoever, but today I read an average of around between five to to seven to 10 hours every single week, going from zero hours every single week for like the first 18 to 17 years of my life, okay? So a lot has changed. However, I say start with something you like. Why? Because basically, it's like exercise. No one likes going to the gym, but if you play basketball or a sport you like, you don't even notice you're burning calories, okay? So you gotta trick your brain by doing something you actually like, read something you like, and eventually you can go into things you actually need to actually read, okay? And by the way, in this video, I'll tell you how I started, how much I read so far, and which one of these methods, all three, is going to be the best. The only thing I don't own is a Kindle Paperwhite. However, I do want one, but I don't need one. So I'm not gonna get it. I only get what I need. So whether you wanna pick through an iPad or a Kindle, if you just want to read on it, go with the Kindle. If you want to do other stuff on it, go with the iPad. That is my recommendation. But obviously, the Kindle is very much cheaper. It's going to save you a lot more money. But obviously, I need the iPad for a lot more things, and that's why I got the iPad, okay? Now, guys, if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day. So you should also subscribe and hit the bell to so get notified, and that's by also destroying the like button. It helps a lot. Thank you guys so much, okay? Now, the very first thing, guys, is going to be this. True story here. From the age of 18 to 19 and under, I never read a book voluntarily. Every single book I read was forced on my throat by the educational system. However, there was one teacher that was very, very smart how she forced me to read a book. Well, first of all, if I didn't read it, I would fail, obviously. However, though, she picked a very fun book, also took us to the play, and on top of that, had us talk together every single day about this book, which basically forced us to actually know something about the book, okay? So basically, it made it very fun and exciting at age 14. Although from age 14 to age 18, I did not read again, but I knew for a fact that some books out there were not going to be boring to actually read. That books were not just for nerds and smart people, but basically for people that actually wanted to learn something. That also changed my life right there. And that's why today, as a 24-year-old, I read an average of five to 10 hours every single week. Most importantly, I've read well over 200 books in a very short time amount of time. Going from someone that absolutely hated books and they didn't want to have anything to do with books whoever. However, Tommy, okay, which one of these methods is going to be best if I'm just getting started as far as reading? Is it going to be Audible? Is it going to be my iPad? Or for example, is it going to be the old traditional way of reading? Well, the first one I wanna talk about is basically Audible. Why? Because I use this device to run five hours out of the week to actually read. I read every single day from Monday to Friday on Audible for a minimum of at least an hour to two hours, depending on how interested the book actually is. And so far, I have around 70 titles here. However, if you wanna get started, the answer is link down below. You get two free books. If you cancel, you still get to keep them. But I would pick these two books right here, um, The Secrets of Millionaire Mind by Edgar T. Harv, and also, for example, The 80-20 Rule or The 4-Hour Workweek. So many books, okay? But those two books right there are gonna help you out a ton. Or, or The Richest Man in Babylon. The Richest Man in Babylon is by far my number one book ever that I've ever read, okay? But the idea is that Audible is very cool, but it's not really that great. And here's why, okay? Because basically, yeah, you read Audible books basically when you're working out, when you're at the gym, when you're driving, when you are playing basketball, whatever you wanna do, okay? But usually, it's while you're doing an activity, okay? If you try to sit down in a corner reading something, like this, I, I can't do that by the way, I get very bored very quickly, I just can't do it, just like hearing, it's hard for me. But usually, the thing is that science shows, not my opinion here, 
Science shows that basically you remember only 10% of what you actually hear. So the point is when you're reading this stuff, usually you're not going to remember everything here. So tell me, how do you make sure you remember? The answer is you can't just listen. But every time you hear something important, you pause, you write that on your notes, you visualize it that way, potentially you can remember it even further past a week, past two weeks, past a month, okay? Now, science shows this, guys, okay? You only remember 10% of what you hear, only 20% of what you actually read, and 80% of what you actually see. So the point is, you want to make your brain do all this stuff, what you wanna do is audible, right? So meaning, for example, while you're basically listening, you're writing things down. That way you remember also. Repeat things back into your head. But also more important, visualize all those stories that tell you in the books. They're there for a reason. It's not to make it longer, but to basically make it so basically you can remember it even further. That's the whole goal. You wanna put it from basically your simplistic memory all the way down to your deep subconscious, okay? That's the whole concept. So not just listening, but writing things down, repeating them down, and also visualizing everything is going to help you a lot. And by the way, do not be afraid to repeat a book over and over and over again. I rather read one good book every single week for like one year than read, for example, a book a week, but then all those books are just like trash and I barely remember them, okay? You want to remember and make it a part of your life, whatever you actually read, okay? That's the goal. It is not a quantity thing here, it is a quality thing here, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? Now, number two, guys, is going to be the iPad. Tommy, do you like it? The answer is yeah, I love my iPad. However, I don't read on it that often. Why? It is one of the most difficult ways to actually read. Because basically, this right here swipes up, it swipes left, and guess what? If I get distracted potentially, now I'm on Instagram for the past 20 hours, okay? You don't want that, or on TikTok, or on Facebook, or on Netflix, you know? It's very easy to get distracted, especially because these items right here are built to keep your attention, meaning, while you're reading, you might get notified on something. You might get a message. You might get a call. It's just way too easy to get access to you. So me personally, I don't read here. However, if you do want to read on a device, I highly recommend, for example, not an iPad. It's no distractions here. But for example, a Kindle Paperwhite. The Kindle Paperwhite, that way is just for reading. If you're going to use an iPad, for example, make it, for example, that no one can call you or access you. You don't have any apps there to actually go ahead and distract you. That's going to help you out a ton. But again, it's not just reading, okay? You wanna grab your pen if you're going to use the iPad. You wanna highlight things. You want to make notes of things, see exactly what you feel about it, visualize it, think about it over and over again. The goal is, it's not reading, it's more like studying. So basically, you're studying. You're trying to remember, but also understand. It's not a test, okay, where you scram everything together, hopefully you remember when the test is over, but then you don't remember anything else after that. No, you have to study to the point where you actually make this a part of you. That's the goal there. Now, number three, guys, is going to be, okay, Tommy, Audible is okay. Reading is fine. But what about, for example, this right here, the old classic book? The answer is, well, with this book right here, you can not swipe up, you can not swipe left, there is no TikTok, no Instagram, there are no distractions. So if I lock myself up in a room with a little book and some notes, I can't do anything else but actually read. By the way, this right here is the best way to actually read, but in reality, people think basically, hey, I can't focus. Guess what? No one can when you first start. When I first started, I would read a sentence, guys, and I swear to you, I did not know what I read. I had to read it over and over and over again. The minute I opened the book, I would instantly fall asleep. Like honestly, like I would just get, get sleepy all of a sudden because basically it's hard, it's new, and your brain is not used to it. But just like exercise, you have to get used to it. And that's why I recommend, for example, read something you're interested in first and then develop the brain strength to basically keep reading and reading and reading. But again, reading is not enough. You read the book, but again, this is not the Bible. Grab a pencil and write on it, okay? Write everywhere. Take notes of everything. Try to visualize everything and try to remember it. And remember the one rule, guys? And this rule is called the 80-20 rule, which basically means usually 20% of what's in a book is going to be the real important stuff. 
The other 80% is going to be, for example, examples or stories or anything else, okay? Usually only 20% is actually important. So take note of that 20%. Try to remember that foundation. The goal is not to walk away and say, hey, I know what I read from point from page A to page Z or from page one to page 300 or whatever, okay? That's not the goal. The goal is to say, hey, I fully understood this book, the whole message and what it's all about. It's not about remembering, it's about understanding and comprehending. That is all you actually need. And by the way, I can read, for example, a very dense economics book. So for example, look at a little book like this, okay? But eventually the size won't matter. You pace yourself. When you first start a marathon, you don't run 10 miles. You run, for example, maybe like five minutes or three minutes, okay? Same thing here. You read 10 pages a day, then 20, then 30, then 40, then 50, and beyond and beyond and beyond like that, okay? But just start small. But usually, I recommend highly start here. But on top of that, also, when it comes to Audible, I would use it also. How? When you're in the gym or you're driving or you're walking, use this. Most people, what do they do? They turn on their phone and go to the music app. The answer is, i rather remember 10% of a book, of a good book, Remember, for example, the lyrics to a very bad song, does nothing for me, okay? That's the idea. So I'd rather do Audible when I'm in the gym than listen to whack music, okay? But tell me, it gets me pumped up, all this stuff. The answer is using, that's going to be an excuse. So basically, use this right here for Audible. Use this right here to actually read. But if you don't want to do this because basically you don't have space for it, then use, for example, the Amazon Kindle. Or if you just if you have an iPad, just use the iPad. Basically, block everything out when you're asking for a certain started. But the only way, there is no trick, guys. There is no perfect app. There is no oh my gosh, I'm an only audible person, only like visual person. The answer is not really. Okay, the answer is you gotta get started and you gotta start reading. It's the only way it works. Okay, I did not like reading even when I wanted to like reading, but it just takes step by step. You get better and better and better. And then you build confidence and confidence and confidence. But it all starts just day by day, okay, guys? But guys, comment down below and let me know exactly which one of these methods are you going to use. By the way, if you're going to get Audible, link down below, get two free books. And also, my Amazon store is linked down below if you want to buy an iPad or the books that I actually bought, for example, in 2019 or 2020, okay? So here's books out, link down below. Okay, guys, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. By the way, comment down below also, what is your favorite book of all time? That way I can read it and learn something also. Not your favorite fantasy book, but the book that taught you a lesson. Comment down below, let me know. See you guys tomorrow. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified, and top about also, destroy the like button. And before I go, guys, if you guys wanna call me and talk to me for 30 minutes, well, join me on my third channel, Ask Tommy Bryson, link down below. On top, if you wanna DM me, well, DM me right here, at Tommy Bryson on Instagram. That's my only Instagram, by the way. And lastly, if you want to know the video, here's the video right here on my top books. On top, I click my face right here. See you guys tomorrow, and as always,